गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ रासा इंटरनेशनल स्कूल टू स्टडी मैथमेटिक्स ऑफ क्लास टेंथ चैप्टर नंबर थ्री पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल इट इज ऑन योर बुक पेज नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स टू फोर्टी सेवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ सोल्यूशन द पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन हैव सो हेयर द लाइन्स में इंटरसेक्ट इन अ सिंगल पॉइंट इन दिस केस द पेयर ऑफ इक्वेशन हैव अ यूनिक सोल्यूशन मीन्स suppose on the graph the pair of linear equations intersect at certain point so at the point of intersection suppose this point is x comma y okay this is x axis and this is y axis so this point of intersection is the common solution for this pair of linear equation and this is known as unique solution because they have one solution only so they are known as consistent pair of equations clear so this is the first kind of solution the pair of linear equation may have second the pair of linear equation may be parallel lines okay in this way suppose this is your x axis and y axis okay and clear now the pair of linear equations we have suppose in this way they are going in this way they are parallel to each other so they will never meet each other so they have no solution okay and they are known as inconsistent pair of equations okay inconsistent pair of equation the third scenario or the third case may be when they coincide or coincident or coincide with each other means they lie one over the other so that case is this is your x axis and this is your y axis now i am taking red color to indicate the lines so this is the first line and the second line is overlapping means it is lying just above it okay so both are one over the other that means they have infinite many solutions and they are also known as dependent or consistent pair of linear equation they are also known as dependent or consistent pair of linear equation i am showing it with the different color so that you don't can get confused with the line graph and with the marking okay so they are known as dependent pair of linear equation or consistent pair of linear equation so consistent is the name given for unique solution and infinite many solution and inconsistent for for the no solution clear now they are representing some examples this is the pair of unique solution this is the pair of linear equation which have coincide and this is the pair of linear equation which are parallel now how can we see and judge whether these equations are having a unique solution coincide or they are parallel without actually drawing the graph so that can be done with the help of taking out this ratio which ratio this ratio a1 upon a2 b1 upon b2 and c1 upon c2 in all the examples okay where a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 and c2 denotes the coefficient of the equation in the general form of 3.2 now what is the general form let us see this is the general form of equation okay a1x plus b1y plus c1 a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 now the coefficient of the these values these are the coefficient okay so we will check the ratio of a1 upon a2 b1 upon b2 and c1 upon c2 for the given equations okay so these are the equations over here you are able to find that the a1 value is 1 over here and a2 value is 3 over here so the ratio is 1 is to 3 second the ratio is minus 2 is to 4 third 0 is to now 0 is to minus 20 now you are able to see that a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 that means as soon as we get this kind of relation we will say that these are intersecting line and having a unique solution or exactly one solution 
on the other hand the case number 2 2 upon 4 3 upon 6 2 upon 4 3 upon 6 minus 19 minus 9 upon minus 18 now in all the cases you are finding that the value is coming out to be I'm solving it 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 now all the three values are equal means a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2 that is equal to 1 by 2 that means they are coincident line means they have infinite many solutions they have infinite many solutions clear third 1 upon 2 ok 2 upon 4 minus 4 upon minus 12 clear so here you are able to see that the first and second that is a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2 in this kind of scenario you will find that these lines are parallel and have no solution if you solve them graphically also you will get the same solution clear so in this way without actually solving we can find out whether the equations have unique solution infinite many solution or no solution so the intersecting lines are a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 this is the condition coincident line all are equal and parallel line first pair is equal but the second is not equal means a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2 okay now in fact the converse is also true for any pair of lines you can verify them considering some more example by yourself so you can consider any equation by of your own and draw the graph for them and check these relation with according to the graph you will find the same answer which you are getting according to the graphical representation thank you